My friend Amy kind of inspired me to do this video because we were talking about flames and I like flames on cars and all that kind of stuff. And I know you see that a lot, that classic hot rod flame style. And I thought, well, let me show you how to do it. It's not that hard. It's a couple little rules. So flaming. Like this, you just kind of get it nice and smooth, right? So here's the trick. All this, think of these little things as little blobs as circles. All of those should be approximately a similar size. And when you're going from here to the tip, always try to keep it getting thinner as you go. So when it gets a little bit wider like I did on this one, you see that one starts to look a little funny, where this one's just about perfect. So that's really all you need to do. And then you can just go with the flow to keep them all about the similar size. It's like magic, just like waves. And you, I mean, you can point the tips wherever you want. And there you go, that's how you get flames. And if you wanna add some, uh, some depth to them, you can come in where the circles are, these, these circle parts, and just bring that in and just do a little bit of that. Now, now all those flames have a little bit of depth to them and some shape. You know, and I'm just doing this with a Sharpie. You don't need to get anything special for it. And then if you want to go in. You know, with your classic flame colors. You know, if you start out, you start the tips kind of in red. And this is very rudimentary. I'm just using pencil sticks, Prismacolor pencil sticks. It's just to throw some color in there. And the board I'm using is just the cheapest crap I could find at uh, Walmart that's like foam core. It's like 88 cents for a board like this. So, I hang it on the wall and it just gives you a chance to mess with some stuff. So every tip, I just start out dark and I just fade it back, fade it back. Right, and then we'll go back in with some orange right behind it. color I'm not really even being careful I'm just kind of throwing it in there we'll go across the line at this point who cares right we're just I'm just having fun online. Now we'll come back and behind that with some yellow. And I'll bring the yellow all the way back up into the red. It just it gives it a little bit of depth and it brings out the rest of the colors quite a bit. I'm gonna leave some white in the middle because that'll just be another color. So this will be like a four color flame job. There we 
go. That looks pretty good. Yeah, so that's your basic your basic hot rod flame job. Now, if you want to get crazy with it, you can go in now where these little dark spots are and just kind of shade those in a little bit. That'll give it a little bit extra depth. Go dark and then about halfway up. You know, go dark at the top and about halfway down and get lighter. And what it's going to do is it's going to create a little... It'll give it some three dimensions. You guys, I'm not even wearing my cheaters. Everything I'm looking at right now is blurry. So if it looks like crap, that's why. This one comes back up, so I'm going to go back here and darken that up because the way the light would come down, you'd see it like that. And same with this one. So I'm going to start in this corner, get light towards the middle, disappear. Start in this corner, get light towards the middle, and disappear. And then this one will do just the opposite way. We're going to come in this way. Just about like that. So that in a nutshell is it. You know, if you want to paint some flame thing you can see it's really not that hard it takes a little bit of practice to get used to the hand flow and things like that but there's no reason you can't do it um so give it a try and i guess uh if there's anything else you guys want to see you know how to sketch some weird little stuff i'm just going to keep making some of these if we like them and uh, let's do a bunch of them and see how it goes thanks for watching don't forget to check out madkstudio.com or go to any of my social media sites madkstudio See what I've got going on. Um, we've got some art prints we're making. I'll be making a lot more um, art prints, but they're all going to be limited edition. So right now we've got Flying High. You can look at my website and see what that is. It's a pretty cool one. And I think we've got, we've got 10 left, I think, 10, 10, or, 10 or 12 left. But uh, once they're gone, they're gone. And this is the first print that I've made. So if you're smart, you get the first print that the artist made. And... Um, so when I'm a famous artist with a huge art empire, you'd be like, well, I've got his first one. That's worth the most. So anyway, that, that's my song and dance for that. But here's Flames. Hope you liked it. And uh, see you next time. Bye.